I will play as Sova because it's the only character I know how to play, even though I'm doing bad. <laughs> yeah, that was my that was my first game of Valorant ever. Um, I thought we did okay, you know. Kind of, you know, we're piecing it together. I'm a dodge. Emote, emote, emote. I JK. I don't know what that means. Um, but I feel like it happens a lot. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to mute everybody. <laughs> it happens a lot where I'm like, I feel like a lot of gamers out there are just a little lonely. Just searching for a friend. So they, they're typing in chat just trying to get some attention. And then you're like, sorry, I don't want to give it to you. I, I'm trying to give enough attention to my own child first. I'm in this picture and I don't like it. <laughs> you have more viewers than the pro Valorant League? Um, I'm... Well, first off, mute all enemy text chat. Absolutely. And then, mute all text chat from team. There we go. Close settings. That's fine. Um, it happens from time to time. I, I feel like there, there's kind of like a happy, uh, or a, let's call it the opposite. There's kind of like an unhappy medium that happens sometimes in uh, on stream. Um, where you would actually, I, I should escort the spike carrier, where you would rather not be amongst the highest view count streams in a category because it attracts an audience that I would rather just stay away. Like, it happened all the time in, uh, in PUBG. Whenever, like, when there was a huge PUBG streamer on, it was no problem. And then when there was, uh... When there was, uh, when they would sign off, like when, oh, sorry, <laughs> when Choco Toco would log off, um, all of a sudden the people would join and be like, "What is this? He's not even. How is he? E this guy has three thousand viewers, and he doesn't even know that if you scus into a vip, then you can vip scus." Hold the line. I, I'm winged them. Uh, there's an invisible man. There's four people. Bad. I'd like to remove my tracking dart, please. I think they're in a call. I think they're in a call. <laughs> that was that was extremely well coordinated, it felt like. Oh no. Hey, that's not fair that you just go use voice chat. Yeah, yeah. Bro, what a shot! Oh, uh, I don't know what that happens there, but good try. Good try, good try, good try. We got 2,600. Honestly, this is a save for me. They're not saving. I'm not freaking saving. Okay, we'll take we'll take this trash SMG then. And I'm ready. Uh, excuse me, the spikes on the other side. This is a horrible idea. I should go help my teammate back here. Hmm. Things are getting spicy. <laughs> Me v4, huh? Nope, you missed. Do it, do it. Challenge me. I dare you. <laughs> Thanks for the what? This does not seem like what I want to do here. <laughs> what the heck is that gun? It was like a sprinkler. All right, now now we're good to go. Now we're good to go. We got what we want. I don't know how to use any of my other abilities anyway. 
I would like to travel. Oh, you know what? Easiest way to travel with the spike is to take the spike. With LMGs, you should aim down sights. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Easy money. Right there. We take a look. We get a little recon. Hey, there we go. Intel. Intelligence. It's in the game. Intel. It's in the game. Great, great work. I don't know what that does. They're slow in there, perhaps. That looks like ice to me. We could wait 10 seconds. I have another reconnaissance drone. Quick little check. I don't know if that's the right spot, but that's okay. Get in the boathouse. Only one gamer remains. Flawless. 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 Flawless gaming. I choose to purchase these abilities now. We're getting there. We're getting there. I just beat my first Hades run. Thank you for your playthrough. It was a big help. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Even though my, my Hades uh, intel is probably a little out of date, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Check this out. We're going to bounce it off the ceiling back there so they can't see it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Poggy. What's the matter? Not scared? Planting? Planting equals we push here to put pressure on them because they're going to recycle. They're going to go back. Steppers, steppers. Shotgun. Help your team. Help your team. Help your team. Even at the cost of your own life, you got to help your team. No idea what that is. Help your team. <laughs> oh, I got baited! I got baited! Frick. Frick. I got so baited. 6,200. Sign me up. Okay, dude, we almost got our ult. You got any of those, um... Hey, y'all got any of them, um... Boneless orbs? Y'all got any boneless orbs? Woo! Hey, you know, weird weird flex, but I'm not trying to take your gun. Check this out. Almost impaled my teammate. The shot through the brainstem. Can I have this boneless orb, please? Cover me, I'm getting a boneless orb. My ultimate is now charged. I don't know where teammates, where enemies could be. Cover me. What is this? What is that a tripwire? A little spicy. A little spicy. A little spicy. A little spicy on that one. That's a, what the heck is this? What on earth is this? Your gun is a dragon. <gasps> not yet, not yet, not yet. You've seen the clips. No! Oh! Gaming! Watch out for the tripwire! Ally Killjoy initiating spike. Enemy killjoy. Smoke grenade. What the heck is happening? 
I think we're dealing with a, a one player detained. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, thank God. <laughs> They they seem to know what's up. Okay, I'm I'm happy you're on our side. I'm happy you're on our side. We're up three two. I'm at two four one. One ahead of Satch. All right, all right, team. One ahead of Satch. Her ult makes everyone in her radius unable to act. Yo, ult caught me acting up. If you know what I mean. I don't need this orb. I think somebody else should take this orb. I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Gonna get a quick headshot easily, by the way. Then I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Push, 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 push. What do you got there? Mm, Phantom? No thanks, trash gun. Nice robot. You can close that? Wait for your signature move? If you don't bounce your signature move, you're a coward as far as I'm concerned. I don't ult until I see them appear. <gasps> Is there kill cam? What happened? <laughs> They were just bought. You got shot from heaven? There's a heaven in this map? I did not know that. I did not know that. We did win the round, though. Congrats. Yeah, heaven means up. Because you can't just call things like their normal names in video games. You gotta be like, oh, that's not up. That's heaven. That's not down. That's hell. You know, that. oh, that's not left. That's, uh, oh, I'm going uh, to the AOC direction. I'm going to the AOC direction. You know, everything's got to have, uh, it's got to have, uh, you know, gamer names. Oh, yeah, I'm going banana. I'm going banana. Oh, uh, there's a man in Bernie. There's a man in Bernie right now. We got an Anna in the banana. Help me. I don't know what I'm doing here. How about one of these? Does this help? Confirmed helpless? Get vision? I would like to use my ultimate ability to do damage. What about a drone? Now you're talking. What about a drone? I've had this thing for a long time. Never used it, man. Let's go up to heaven. Okay, it's it's out of battery range. Just peeking. Just peeking. Oh, they're they're going heaven, dude. Let's go. Great gaming, gamers. Great gaming. I'll take another drone. I think I used that last one very well. I think we're going to win this round. That's my take on the subject. And I'm very excited by this. I'm also realizing there is no game I've ever played that has a higher percentage of AFK players. Or players who just lose two rounds and then decide, like, screw this, I'm going to quit. TF2? It's a funny concept to me that people would quit TF2. Like, in mid-match. Like, if you were going to quit TF2, wouldn't you have done so in 2010? I saw a man... I thought I saw a man's shoes under the door frame. <laughs> oh. You know what? This is a perfect time for a drone. Oh, like distraction! Distraction tech achieved. No, no, we gotta cover up here.
Boys, boys, you never know. They could try to defuse. I told you! When will you learn your actions have consequences? Oh, I lived. <laughs> Four, five, one. Junk. Thanks for the gun, fool. Oh, you missed the Dan raid? Hello, Daniel Raiders. Hello. Hello. I hope you are doing well. I hope you enjoyed watching some Dadcraft earlier today. Casino frowny face. It's out of respect for Daniel that I'm not putting him on blast right now for saying no to the casino. I, I choose to be the, the larger man. Easiest kill of my life. I've been killed by my own teammate's poison, I think, though. I'm not sure. It's no, I'm not I'm not touching it. Out of respect for Dan, I'm not touching it. Dan Dan does whatever uh you know he feels is his priority for the day, as I do whatever he feels or as I do whatever I feel my priority is for the day. There's no hard feelings about it. He seemed genuinely uh remorseful that he was unable to find the uh the time to work on the casino today. Poggy? No, dude! Where the heck did that bolt go? It went through like the, the sewer grate over there. <laughs> okay, like I don't know how do I how does one drop a gun? Can you can I just give you your gun back? Like There you go. There you go. No, you see? He's got the op now. I just don't see what his problem is. Like, how could you be a gamer and have no sense of humor, right? Games are the funniest thing on the planet. Poggy. I thought I pogged you. I thought I pogged you. <laughs> we got him. We're going to win this one easy. All I'm going to say is that, you know... Maybe Team Trinity made plans last night. Maybe Team Trinity made plans to work on the casino together. Maybe all three of us agreed on it and agreed on a time. And then maybe this morning, one of us said, Sorry, I, on second thought, I can't make it. Um, uh, I got too much stuff to cram in. And then at the time where we were normally going to play it anyway, um, that member of Team Trinity, just hypothetically speaking, was still in dad crap but doing his own thing. It's a dragon, huh? Just just throwing that out there. Rhetorically speaking. I'm sorry, Dan. Maybe maybe at some point in the future fate will will bring me back to the uh, the eastern standard time zone and uh, and then I'll be able to, you know, be on your agenda. For now, I, I got the, an obligation to, to my wife and, and my child in order to do a little baby duty in the morning. Check this out. Ooh, Poggy. Teammates coming in. I saw them. Oh, baby! I am hoping that they will just resign. <laughs> oh, on, on defense, you don't get enough to... Oh, no, you never got enough to buy heavy shields. Short A. This is when you BM. I just want them to quit so I can have a 50% success rate. Whoops. <laughs> right mouse button is shoot. <laughs> what a world. Go for the knife. 
All right, Ross, just for you, I'm going to go for the knife. Just for you. Okay? Just for you. They did not come this way. I'm sorry. We must pivot. All right. <laughs> it's 5v2. The games are ending. They're ending pretty quick. Dude, I'm not buying anything because we're, if we're just going for the knife, we're just going for it. Dude, is there like an anti Valorant? Like, did some Bitcoin billionaire pay a bunch of people to just like go around the Valorant streams and say game sucks? And are they like affiliated with the lobby on Twitter that just pops into, uh, you know, the Fall Guys tweets and goes like, you know, dead game, dead game, dead game? I just can't imagine, like... Like, you're seeing somebody playing a game, and, like, they're having fun with it. They're, like, adding more joy into the world. And your response is, like... Game sucks. Look, at he's, he's having fun with something that I consider to be not that fun. Somebody's gotta... Like, let's... This stream needs some negativity right now. This is weird, man. It's a weird energy. CSGO fanboys? I love CSGO too. I'm just saying, you know, like, uh, you know, people are like CSGO clone. Well, like, CSGO's been out since 2013. Like, you know, move on. I'm not saying you have to move on from, uh, from CSGO, but like, move on from the idea that it can never be, you know, uh, copied or replicated. Just like, you know, just try to enjoy yourself a little bit. Hold on, let me let me check on my uh on my correspondence here. Let me check on my correspondence here. Dude, honestly, I'm just gonna level with you. That last one was kind of a snoozer. I'm not afraid to say that it's a snoozer, mostly because people quit. I think we're gonna run one more. And we'll still have time to fit in some some game show games and some GeoGuessr. Just play some casual Valorant. Like on Sunday, um, which is the next stream after this one, we're going to play uh, a lot of uh, Death Stranding for sure. Sometime next week, like we're going to do a stream that is essentially exclusively um, an Isaac tier list. So, like, we're, I'm trying to fit in as much gaming as is theoretically possible right now. Gord equals large pog. <laughs> have you tried the coin game since his last update? Uh, I have. Well, I don't know. I've tried it, like, a month ago. I don't know if it's updated since then. I would I definitely have no problem like going going back once a year, once every six months and trying that game out. It's a lot of fun. I know I'm not I don't think I'm interested in the survival mode where you have to eat Cheetos to to live. I'm not I'm not good enough at most of the games in the coin game, I think, to to break even. I think I would just slowly decay into into arcade based poverty. When will there be Momcraft? Being a dad in Dadcraft is not about being a literal father. You know, you just have to... It's not even about having, like, the same energy uh, as a dad or whatever. You know, Dadcraft is is just short for dads and dadjacent individuals. So if you are either a father or adjacent to a father or have the energy of a father or have heard of a father, then then you're allowed. Um, oh, my, my match got alt f would somebody somebody quit before the game even started <laughs> how about that you took sova how dare you i think somebody quit again no no never mind nobody quit again Maybe somebody quit again?
people are like really like just like the gamers are not okay is what I'm realizing. <laughs> Is it because they see that there's a Lord of Spelunky on the other team and they get they get freaked out? I can't understand. You're you're only now just realizing it. I think you know what it is is I think I've always been kind of like a a degenerate, you know. But I've been like on the normie side as far as streamers go. So I've maintained like a tenuous strand connection to normal life. Um, but then when we had the baby. I've, I've normed up to an extreme degree. I'm waking up at 7.30 in the morning. You know, I'm trying to eat, you know, three and a half square meals a day. And now that I have, like, real things going on, like, in my life, a lot of gamer problems just strike me as an extreme waste of your one and only time on planet Earth. Like, when I see people that are addicted to arguing about, like, video game-based stuff that's not actually, uh, like, important to the quality of life for either individual involved in the argument i'm like man you're just like actually addicted to acetylcholine huh like you you gotta i'm not saying you need to start meditating or whatever but i think you just need to take like a week off and like like maybe like don't play video games maybe be like i'm gonna build a birdhouse this week and then when you build a birdhouse and you come back and somebody's like you know dead game dead game you're gonna be like shut up loser <laughs> Just really a, a thought that has has popped into my head a lot more often over like the past, let's say, three months. Without a doubt. It's true, man. I'm just saying, you gotta like... I don't, I don't think people... I, let me rephrase. I don't think everybody has a level of like self-awareness that what they're arguing about is not important. Some things are important, you know, and I can understand why you would, like, argue about them. But then, like, you know, we had, like, a situation in the Discord where, like, and it, it wasn't even that bad. But somebody, like, made a snide comment about the content. And I was basically, like, you know, they, they made a rude comment. And then, like, ten people were rude to them for making a rude comment. And they were, like, I guess criticism's not allowed here. And I was just, like, you came in here to pick a fight. Like, <laughs> You went into like a fandom Discord and we're like, I, here's a, this guy's being, I don't like this guy. And then like when people were critical about their criticism, they were like, it's a hug box in here. I'm like, nah, dude, you were just being kind of like an a-hole. You were just being kind of, un, kind of a butthole. And then people were like, stop, stop being so stinky. And then you, your, you know, feathers got ruffled over that. I don't understand. Like, just, just chill out, man. Just, you know, like, I don't want to say pog up or leave, but, you know, pog up or leave. It's pretty much, not not because, like, I don't want you to have criticism, but if you phrase the criticism like, you know, right arrow, says X, right arrow, does Y, does anybody else see how messed up, then I'm like, just go. Like, like obviously, like, I don't know, there, one of two things is happening. You're, like, hate watching, which is just really sad. And you should spend your time doing something that, like, validates or, like, it makes your life better instead of just, you know, kind of scratching a scab over and over every single day just to feel something. Or alternatively, you actually enjoy the content, but you found, like, one thing that you can nitpick and maybe get some attention for. And, like, you've spent too much time online, you've poisoned yourself into thinking the only way to interact with things is by having, like, nitpicky, hyper-specific criticisms that nobody actually cares about. Both of them are not good. Anyway, that's that's just my that's my rant. Let's pog up. I'm not tilted, to, and like I, it's this is something that happens a lot. But like, I think you can talk about the issue without being tilted. When I, you know, I my my tilt manual is out there. When I'm tilted, like I just I'm quiet. Is basically what it comes down to. Any any time I get I get rattled when we would play like Tarkov or something like that, I would just like say two words per half hour. That's that's tilted. Yo, what's your what's your DPI on, man? What would you consider a good criticism? 
I actually, I, and I know everyone says this, but I, I welcome constructive criticism. The problem is people, they're like poisoned by image boards and they phrase it in such a way they're like, Hey man, love your content, but also like green text arrow, green text arrow, implying green text arrow. Boy, it, I, I, it sure must be nice. By the way, love your content. Sure must be nice to be like, or, you, you know, stuff like that. Does anybody else think, you know, why, why can't you just be like, hey, here's a game that I think would be interesting. I think this game would be more fun than some of the games you're currently playing or would fit in, in the same vein, you know? Or like, you know, they, we get criticism fairly frequently. By the way, I have no idea where I'm going. Of like, hey, the way you talked about this issue had no nuance whatsoever, and I think you should educate yourself before you speak about it again. I'm like, you know what? Dude, that's like, that's a genuine criticism that makes a lot of sense. I shot you though! I thought I had you. I thought I had you. I thought I had you. Dude, the deagle shots, though. But anyway, like, I don't know. The way the way people phrase criticism is like... Or they'll watch, like, a three-hour video, and then they'll find something that's not actually consequential, and then they admit it's not consequential, but they'll be like, I know this isn't a big deal, and I love the other 180 minutes of this, but the 45 seconds where, like, he said stonks, like... Like, oh my god. Like, stop talking about stonks. Like, it's... And I'm like, that's the kind of criticism that's, like... You know, I'm not saying if you if 99 out of 100 percent of the content was good, you should leave a comment that's 99 percent positive, one percent negative. But like at the same time, like you gotta understand how that criticism like comes across. Okay, if you'll excuse me, I'm t okay. That's fine. Your ult's better probably, or at least you know how to use it, which is also valid. That's not our smoke. Yo, smoke is an ability, right? Like, it's not, um... It's not a thing you can buy or pick up on the ground. But, like, what I really think it is... And again, this is not tilted. It's, it's like, you know... From, from doing years of online content. People have really gotten trained to the idea. For sure. That... It's okay for the viewers to be critical. I don't have an alt. <laughs> but if the if the streamer is critical of the viewer, then they can handle criticism. Like if, if a viewer says like, hey, this guy's dumb, the streamer's just supposed to be like, thank you for the view or whatever. But if the viewer if the streamer says, hey, this viewer doesn't know what they're talking about, it's like, oh, what about my First Amendment rights? It's pretty much the way I would describe that. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost. <laughs> Did we lose? I'm not sure. No, like this is again, like this is it, it feeds the beast. I'm being very calm, very normal. But then people, you know, when you talk about, like, the parasocial issues, people are like, I guess this is uh, another NL complains about chat episode. Like, it's the same thing, right? Like, it's just, you, you, you're incapable at the present moment of, like, engaging in a mature discussion. So instead, you just, uh, oh, baby. You know, you resort to, like, kind of a cheap joke to get a little bit of a dopamine. It, it works against both of us. Okay, good, good smoke. Good smoke. Yeah, your ult's probably better than mine anyway. No steps, no steps. Easiest win of my life. Do you have good guns? It's got purple on it. It must be a good gun. So really, it's less about like, um, you know, I'm not really complaining. I think the community has been very good. But it's it's more like defending myself for calling out like some not okay comments when I see it. I'm kind of of the opinion, you know, people are like, don't feed the trolls. The trolls just get what they want if you feed them. I very much think that most people are not being trolls. 
Um, I think they genuinely just have maybe like what I would describe as a little bit of not the best model of how to, you know, interact with other people, especially parasocially. So rather than being like, you know, don't feed the trolls, don't die out there, please. For me, it's more about like, you know, ignoring people being passive aggressive and crappy for 10 years has not stopped it. So why not just start being like, hey, what you said is like way off base and you're being kind of a jerk. Is really what it comes down to. Trying to we're trying to change the culture to allow acceptability for streamers to be slightly, slightly memer, or meaner, I should say, when appropriate. When someone's being rude to them in the first place. Uh, that's my kill. Oh baby! Recon. Let's go. Greatest gamer of all time. Anyway, that's about it. That's that's like the whole thing. Full stop. Who do you think should have been nominated for the award except for Lin Manuel Miranda? Um, was it the Oscars? I guess it is February. That's when Oscar nominations come out, right? It is weird to me that for a movie that was a play based in 2015... Oh, it's a Golden Globe Award. Okay. Um, the play was filmed in 2015. But he got nominated for Best Actor in 2021. Either way, um, you know... I mean, the simple answer is instead of nominating... Lin-Manuel Miranda, you nominate Leslie Odom Jr., who played Aaron Burr. That's our teammate. That's the easy answer. I got nothing... I mean, okay, I mean, it's a, you know, you might have something against uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda. I'm, I'm not totally familiar with the controversy surrounding Lin-Manuel Miranda. I thought he was okay in Hamilton and obviously made the, you know, he, he spent nine years writing it, which is awesome as well. Um, but at the same time, not one of the best actors in Hamilton, I would say. Ult me, baby! I, we got a hit marker, dude. I'm bad. This seems bad. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, David Diggs, for sure. But I, I don't know, David Diggs, he's kind of more of like... Um, he's a, like a supporting actor. I'm not saying he's not amazing in the movie or in the, in the play, but... More of a more of a supporting actor. Oh my god. Incredible. Even the odds. Oh my lord. I can't believe it. That's heavy pog energy. I'll be honest with you, I think this is my operator time. I think this is my operator time to shine. I, I like this angle we got over here on site B. It's high risk, high reward. I'm ready for it, man. I mean, this is a little close quarters, but I'm ready for it. Time for a no scope. Oh God, they were there already. How does that happen? Ooh, and I'm still headshotting. Oh, that missed? <laughs> Whatever, I got one. I got one. I'll take it. They're gonna don't let them take my operator. How are you liking Valorant so far? Honestly, I'm I'm having a really good time. Oh no. Like uh I'm not really super interested in like going back to Overwatch, but a, a slightly more, you know, tactical style. Overwatch game is uh, it, it kind of it, it hits a, a spot in the niche that I'm interested in to be honest 
How are we doing here? Five and three? I can live with that, man. They didn't see? There's like a there's like a curse of popularity, right? Like people I, I do see someone in chat saying like Overwatch is uh like so overrated. But like 99% of the feedback I see about Overwatch online is like that people hate it. <laughs> so I'm I don't know, I guess I'm just confused. Like how can something simultaneously be overrated and also like hated? I guess because it's if you get to a certain level of popularity, you, you, everybody feels like well, you know every way about the game. I had a great time with Overwatch when it first came out. I kind of I kind of washed out after that, but just trying to help out. Just trying to help out. I also think I mean I wouldn't say there's like something wrong with it. I feel like. Um, you know, th this idea that every game kind of has to be like a forever game leads to, to some of that stuff. One of the worst tracking darts you're ever going to see. On the other hand, Poggy! My signature ability's been charged. Oh! This seems bad. Don't worry, I got it. There's three guys. I'm not sweating. That's that's just three mouse clicks. I don't need the ult orb. The ult orb is secondary. Victory is eternal. Just creeping. Just creeping. Oh my god! Can you believe it? <laughs> oh! Oh, baby, didn't even take a hit. Three clicks, what did I tell you? Oh. <laughs> snoozer, resident snoozer, this game's a snooze. I wish you were walking up a hill in Iceland right now. Snoozy. Snooze this. Bam! I can't shoot yet, but you, you just imagine there was a shot there for comedic effect. Bammy! I didn't buy anything, did I? I could have at least bought some. Oh, jeez Louise, man. What the heck was that? Dang old disruptor grenade? If you'll excuse me, I need to get my ultimate weapon. You see them down there? I wouldn't mind giving you a little quick uh, shot of that. Ults have been... Ults could use a little work. Honestly, ults could use a little work. <laughs> I have gotten hit markers with my ult before. Um, and not just on my team. I don't know, like, dude, people in chat are just so rude. They're not not in my chat, but, like, in in-game chat, like, why are they going, like, the heck? Why are they saying such rude things? It don't cost nothing. It'd be nice. Like, you're playing a video game. It's not, you know, World War or something. Just chill out. Weirdo. Okay, get in behind them. It's e being rude is easier than having a personality. Ain't that the truth? I want the kill. Yo, they got an ace. Like, you ever hear that story about how, like, in the First World War, um, you know that it was Christmas, so the the uh, Triple Alliance and the Triple Entente armies like came over the trenches and they played soccer against one another and, and and shared like their canned meals and like had a 
had a nice little time, and then the next day they, you know, went back to shooting each other and, you know, getting trench foot and stuff like that. That's crazy, man. You think that would happen in, in 2021? I think if that happened, like, some... Some little punk on the one team would be like, Now we got him, boys! We got him! Poggy, we got him! Lol, so naive. What are you, two? Deserved. I don't know how long we were looking at each other. Hello, I'm in main tunnel. It's just me. Poggy. I hear steppies. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, what can you say? What can you say at this point? I'm finally warmed up. <laughs> 11 and 3. Mm -mm. So good and tasty. Valorant. He's going to get over. They're going to wipe the floor with them on Valorant. He just doing freaking. There's no chance. You got no freaking chance. You got no 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 chance against this. Oh, yeah? Take one of these and call me in the morning. No thanks, Droney. No thanks. I knew he was going to reload. Because we got a generation of kids raised on Call of Duty. There was no question he was going to reload. Didn't even enter into my mind that he wouldn't. Hmm. Oh, they flanked me. <laughs> Fair enough. What my team, dude? Come on, my team. Come come on, man. This Phoenix is rude. You know what? Guess what? Boom. 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 Get erased. <laughs> Get snapped. Get shadow banned. Oh, what the heck is this guy playing on dial-up? This phoenix is like somebody who <laughs> pulls their pants all the way down at the urinal. And uses a pair of scissors to open a potato chip bag. Are you playing on a Lenovo ThinkPad? Like, wh what the heck is happening there? <laughs> He's playing with, a, like, a move controller or something. Alright, we're, we're planting now. We're planting. Okay. Dude, I don't know. This is the best game we played for sure. 12 and 4? Playing on the Wii Fit balance board? Victory. We did it. A little, uh, you know, anticlimactic, but <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Poggy! Poggy! Okay. I was the MVP, I believe. I believe I was the MVP. No need to look at all that. I was the MVP. No, no, don't play again. Okay. That was uh that was Valorant. You know, honestly, I would totally play some dad Valorant at some